All right, folks, welcome back. This is Sheepdog Smokey. Uh, we're looking today at a story here that you can see probably by uh, just uh, the header. It is CNBC. Now, I have honestly not trusted most mainstream media sources, including Fox, on their news stories for many years. I watch uh, several pundits and opinion piece people and I then go out and look for the sources. But this one, honestly, is not a surprise to me. If you look at it, Special Counsel Mueller has no sealed indictments as Russia probe ends, according to NBC News. Special Counsel Robert Mueller has concluded his investigation and will not file any more indictments in connection with his inquiry into Russian interference in the 2016 campaign. NBC News reports, citing a senior U.S. law enforcement official, there are no sealed indictments. And of course, they have to continue. It is possible that leads uncovered during the special counsel's inquiry and handed off could lead to charges brought by state prosecutors or other parts of the Department of Justice. This has been, honestly, the goose hunt of the century, and we're only 19 years in. Uh, we've seen the likes of Pelosi, Schumer, Waters, Feinstein, Warren, and of course, Schiff himself. The evidence is in plain sight. It's right there. We have the evidence. Apparently not, because the man you demanded be protected has said there's nothing there. Now, he's indicted people for process crimes committed years before the campaign even began. He's had Roger Stone, a septuagenarian. Pardon me. He's had Roger Stone, a septuagenarian, arrested in a pre dawn raid that CNN just happened to be waiting to film. But nothing regarding Russian collusion. We even hear stories now that the Ukraine is investigating members of their own government for working to aid Hillary Clinton in 2016. I wonder if, you, if the Ukraine is out of reach of the Clinton Foundation. But this all comes back to a very simple thing. Donald Trump did not collude with Russia. He did not. He colluded with the American people. Yes, he's on record saying that Prior to, th to his run, he's on record as saying that the Electoral College is something he would not support. And after, he realized he did not have to win all 50 states, that it works. If you look at the electoral map by county, then you'll realize 90 plus percent of the counties in the country voted for Donald Trump, by and large. You see, yes... You see population hubs like New York or Los Angeles or Chicago are solidly blue. But the Electoral College was there, or is there for a reason, to ensure that two or three horribly dense counties cannot override an entire state outside of their own. He didn't collude with anyone. He showed a business acumen. He showed that I don't have to win California, I can win these four other states and negate that loss. He showed that he knows what Americans want. He knows they want a better economy, safer borders, and so many more things that if you look at his records thus far, he's delivering. It's honestly, it's just flabbergasting to me. I mean, I'm flabbergasted that this has gone on for over two years. And Mueller has produced nothing. I'm honestly surprised that any judge out there would look at this investigation by Mueller and say, I'm sorry, you were hired to investigate Russian collusion, not Roger Stone not reporting taxes four years ago or more, whatever it was. <laughs> We have ample evidence. We have 
hard evidence that Hillary Clinton personally was paid after the sale of United States uranium to Russia. Yet because after the election, President-elect Donald Trump met with other world leaders, we're told that he must be impeached. I'm sorry, I seem to remember in 2012 hearing Barack Obama saying to someone, I'll have more flexibility after the election. He was not president-elect at that time. He was a candidate for the 2012 election, and he was telling a Russian official he would have more flexibility after the election. That sounds to me like telling another world leader, you want me in office. We have proof that Barack Obama's administration meddled in Israeli affairs. Uh, I'm sorry, that's foreign interference. We have proof that there are multiple counties across the, the country where the votes cast outnumber eligible adult voters. If you have 100,000 voters in your county and 150,000 votes are cast, that's voter fraud. That these happen in blue states and predominantly in, or I would assume predominantly in sanctuary counties, uh, that tells me illegal immigrants are voting. That tells me non-citizens are voting. That is actual foreign interference into our election. Yet we have Gillibrand or Warren or any number of Democrats saying that everyone who's here should be allowed to vote. We have Beto O'Rourke who admits his fantasy poem about murdering children. Well, I was just a stupid 16-year-old. I didn't know any better, but they want 16-year-olds to vote. This is, honestly, classic Democrat liberal tactics. When you can't win, you change the rules. When you lose, you change the rules. Pardon me. Pardon me again. They lost in 2016. And they know they lost because Hillary Clinton was not a popular candidate. Pardon me. Uh, not the best season in Texas. But they know they lost because county after county decided Donald Trump was the person for them, which led to state after state going red. Thought I had one there. So now they want to eliminate the Electoral College. The problem is they know they can't do it legally. So they have their lackeys in, uh, in blue states saying that their state electoral votes will go to the national popular winner. It's a violation of the Constitution, folks. How you pick your electors, that's up to the state. If you want to tell your electors you will vote all. Basically, we're going to name you an elector and we're going to say this was your vote, but you don't have to show up. That's fine. If you want to tell your electors, we're going to split your votes based on the percentage of the state popular vote, that's up to the state. But when one state says the other 49 decide for us, that's a violation. You want to propose a constitutional amendment? Fine. It'll fail. And they know it. So they have to pull their crap. They have to say that Hillary Clinton lost in 2016 because Russia colluded with Donald Trump. Now, we have the report. Special counsel Robert Mueller has concluded his investigation and will not file any more indictments in connection with his inquiry into Russian interference in the 2016 campaign. NBC News reported on Friday, citing a senior U.S. law enforcement official, there are no sealed indictments. Now, I know they're hoping the DOJ will just say, oh, this, all, this is all good, we're going to indict. They won't. We know it. We have Ken, Delane, or Ken Delanian. To be clear, there are no sealed indictments per law enforcement official. Who knows? If the DOJ formed the special counsel to investigate collusion, and the special counsel says, I recommend no further indictments, there will be no further indictments. 
Shifty and Spartacus and the rest of them are going to continue saying, well, he was compromised, or Donald Trump got to him, so we're just going to have to investigate him ourselves. Schiff is going to leak whatever he wants. Spartacus Booker is going to do whatever the hell he wants. And it's going to continue until 2020, when the Democrats will propose 30 different people for their Democrat primary. While they will have their sycophants in Washington trying to pass laws that the sitting United States president cannot be on the ballot. Yeah, they're already proposing that. It's going to go to the Supreme Court, and it's going to fail. The state of Washington is saying, unless you do something not required by law, you can't be on the ballot. Literally. There is no law requiring presidents or presidential candidates to release their tax returns. Yet Washington is saying you have to do it in order to be on the ballot. They're not passing a law that says it. They're just doing it. It's going to be overturned. They're going to cry. They're going to get a liberal judge to overturn the overturn, and then Supreme Court is going to smack them down. And then they're going to try it anyway. Washington is blue because Washington lets illegals vote, just like Oregon, just like California, New York, Illinois, so many other blue states. But they're not going to win. They lost this fight. Attorney General William Barr told lawmakers on Friday that he received a report from Robert Mueller and will share its conclusions as soon, as, or possibly as soon as this weekend. Barr said he consult he will consult with Rosenstein and Mueller to determine what other information from the report can be released to Congress and the public consistent with the law. The White House has said that the next steps are up to Barr. Democratic leadership has pressed for the report to be made available to the public and Congress. I think we should wait for the full report to be issued before jumping to any conclusions, Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer, Democrat from New York, said at a press conference Friday evening after a reporter asked about the reports er, that there will be no new indictments. This is the crux. Again, I apologize about the sniffling and such. But this is the crux of the matter. Barr is looking at United States law and saying, what can we and can we not release under current law? Shift for brains and Liawatha and Cry and Chuck, Nutty Nancy, Wacky Waters. They're all going to cry all over the news and all over social media that the truth is being hidden. Even if they're allowed to read the report fully and told you cannot share what is potentially security or classified information, they're going to cry and say, well, the information they didn't release proves it, but I can't release it. We're literally going to hear, it's in there. I can't tell you what it says because they said it's illegal. It is. It, but it's there. So just impeach, just impeach, just impeach. We already have Wacky Waters, Mad Maxine herself, saying that the Democrats in the House have told her to back off, and she's not going to. We have others. We're going to hear it for the next two years, or a year and a half. We're going to hear, damn it, just impeach. I want him, I want him impeached, so you have to do it. I'm waiting for a full Orwellian flip. Damn it, you peasants. I am your God. You will obey me. Impeach him now. I'm waiting for one of the House members to pull this story back up and say, I don't care if Mueller in recommended indictments or not. I don't care what it says. I want him impeached. We're at a crossroads. We've had two years of Mueller investigating Russian collusion, and he's found nothing of the sort. We've had two years of indictments for things that happened long before the campaign, and no indictments for the campaign. We have the Ukrainian government investigating their own people for helping Hillary. But the Democrats still say impeach Trump because he beat Hillary in a rigged election. But I've talked long enough on this one. I, it's up to, honestly, us. We have to make a simple decision. 
do we want more of the same? Do we want more of Mad Maxine and Crying Chuck and Nutty Nancy and all of the rest of them? Do we want another two years of hearing just impeach, just impeach, obey, 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 high taxes, high taxes, high taxes. Illegals get Social Security from Gillibrand. Illegals get Medicare from, or health, free health care from people like de Blasio. Abort your baby up until the moment after we cut the cord. Do we want more and more of that? Or do we want to tell Congress, you're done? There are maybe, maybe 40 to 50 people in that body out of 535 that are doing their actual job and serving their constituents. The others are serving their own pockets. And it's just, it's time, it's well beyond time that we kick them to the curb and we tell them, get out. And we tell the people coming in, we don't want any more golden parachute where, you know, you serve two or four or six years and you get your six-figure salary for life plus whatever book deal you can do or whatever cushy job you get from Fox or CNN or whatever. There is no more you can vote your own pay increase. There is no more taking from Social Security to pay for your sexual victim to be paid off. This probe right here has proven that Congress cares nothing for the rule of law. It cares only for protecting itself. Donald Trump ran in 2016 on draining the swamp. And the swamp is the 535 people caring only for maintaining their position of power. It has to stop. But until next time, you can find me here, Cheap Dog Smokey, on Twitter. Uh, at least until there is actual true competition for Twitter, I'll be there. You can also find me here. Make sure to like and subscribe so you can always stay up to date. I will have more content as I as it comes out. For now, you guys have a great rest of your weekend.